before we get into the analysis, which of course we will be getting into the analysis. We've got a lot to cover today. Um, I wanted to touch on one final thing. So I saw this um, this tweet that went out earlier today. Uh, I responded to it on Twitter, uh, but it was basically someone going, "World of Warcraft is like McDonald's, right? You walk in, you pay fifteen dollars for your meal, and they give you an empty bag, and they tell you that you'll yeah. get the food later." Now, obviously, old joke. Uh, we've I think the first time that joke was used is uh, what, but you know, um, even before then, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, actually, what I think was the first time that you. Um, like that people could make that joke in 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 certainty right was around what everything else would have just been people overreacting because we had a lot of content back in the day um true but especially compared to now like we were swimming in content if you compare uh like 10 years ago to now right um but okay so just very quickly so the girl points out that this is what world of Warcraft is doing and that sort of got me thinking um, and uh, this, I promise you, I'm not making this political at all. I don't have any interest in going into politics here. But I do want to make a, a couple of mentions here to people who don't seem to understand this concept. So, in a free market economy, as much of the world pretends to be in, right? Um, it is the job of the consumer to punish companies whenever those companies are not doing what the consumers view as good business practice. It's it's your job. That's what it means to be in a free market. The consumer is free to purchase content or products that they want to purchase. No one can force a consumer to purchase anything that they don't want to purchase. But that also sadly means that only the consumer can punish a company for doing things that they do not agree with. All right. And th that's sort of my biggest issue here is um, there's so many people that's screaming at Blizzard for whatever, right? And, and my thought process around this is if you're screaming at the company but not actually taking action against the company in the only way that you can, which is to vote with your wallet, or at least in the case of World of Warcraft, you don't even have to vote with your wallet. You can just stop playing the game since their biggest thing is engagement. If you're not logging in, their engagement tanks, right? And that means that their shareholders get very angry very quickly. Um, but the problem is that most people don't seem to understand that. So people will complain and complain and complain, but th they'll keep gobbling up the shit. And actually the worst part of it is the people that just think this is as good as it gets. Like, what, I, what, what am I supposed to do? I'll just play this piece of shit, right? Um, so I, mean, I don't think people- I mean, that's half our viewer base, right? It was just like, we'll watch this shit instead of anything else because we're used to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I thank all of you for being here, um, even though I'm sure you could find many a better places to be on a Monday evening uh, or a Monday afternoon or a Monday morning, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, but I do thank you all for being here. Um, capitalism at work. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, so it was just sort of interesting to me. that. And by the way, the reason I bring this up is the person that tweeted this out just a month ago were basically tweeting out, like, before all of this bullshit happened, they were, like, one of those people that kept telling people to stop complaining and stop saying bad things about Blizzard. I remember that's one of the reasons I had to, like, unfollow a couple of people that kept liking her fucking tweets and putting her on my timeline. So I eventually just reached a point where I was like, motherfucker, can, can you guys just stop putting her on my fucking timeline? For the love of God. Uh, so I did that thing where you click the post and you say, see, less of this, right? Um, so that even when people like it, they don't have to fucking worry about it. Uh, so just a month ago, she's tweeting that out. And now, and this is just sort of what I want to feel like, I think most people aren't, uh, I think a lot of people are catching on to this. Right? I think a lot of people are catching on to this. How many content creators do you guys think are now anti-Blizzard because it's fashionable? Because it's going to get lot. them the most clicks. I mean, of course, there's going to be few that are chasing the clickbait, right? They're chasing the algorithm, they're chasing money, because that's the point of doing it, right? But, yeah. I don't know. There's... Maybe it's just me being like optimistic and seeing good in people where there is none but i like to think that they at least have some fundamental level they mm -hmm. give a shit about it but it's overridden by the want for money you see my my 
problem again with this is I think that should be called out as well. I genuinely think that if you see someone who did a 180 fucking turn, right? Just going straight into uh fuck you, right? Um fuck Blizzard from a month ago being pro Blizzard, it should be called out. It should be said, well, now you're and I'm not talking about people that's criticizing the company, right? We all know why people could have done a 180 on the company. I'm talking about people that's now sort of bashing the game, where a month ago yeah. they were sort of praising the game. It's like, no, motherfucker, you don't get to do that, <laughs> right? A month ago, you were telling all of us to shut the fuck up because we don't like the game, and now suddenly, now suddenly you're on board with us. I just would like to point out that I've been criticizing World of Warcraft since before it was cool to do so. <laughs> um, Hipster complainer over here. Like. Yeah, I've been I've been complaining about World of Warcraft for a long time. Uh, so I, I, I think I get to do it still because I've been doing it for so long. Um, I, I have, however, changed my mind a little bit on the lore in recent, in recent months, but that's again, more of a blizzard issue. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you enjoyed this clip from the Sunday Night Show show. If you enjoyed it and you want to watch it live, the link to the main channel will be in the description down below. And of course, remember to slap a like on this video, hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. It does help out. To all of the patrons, thank you so much for your monthly support. It does mean the world to me. And of course, it makes streams like this one possible. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you. Consider becoming a patron. Link in the description down below. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace out, fam.